Hello fellow Chartists, welcome to my YouTube channel, I am the Chartist, and today we had another pretty bearish day on the S&P 500, Extreme Fear is showing on the Fear and Greed Index as you can see right here, down to 18, wow, that's pretty low, people are very scared, you know, with everything going on in the world, flow sentiment is very bearish, still 75% into put flows compared to 25%, is filtered for 200k premiums or above now we've seen worse but still 75 percent in a put that's still a lot you can see here this coming in a little after market fall 6 p.m 2.2 million in premium 413 strike price for puts okay 2.2 million in premium sweeps march 18 expiration this is 6.1 million 1 million right here for puts 410 strike price 1.8 million 438 that's an in the money one right there 1.2 429 that's in the money yeah we got some in the money but millions of dollars going into puts right now towards the end of the day okay so like i said yesterday i like to look at these at the end of the day to give me an idea of what we can you know maybe look forward to in the early morning possibly a gap down we've had some gap downs this whole week early in the morning this is a lot of money guys so big money's going to the bear side up to you guys how you want to interpret it okay so this is my discord for the group and i write my plan every morning for the market start as many of you know already yesterday i was looking for a rally to 437 to 439.5 zone in spy then consolidate and i was underway right so 439.5 to 430 is a messy chop zone to trap and set up next leg they were trapping the bulls and the bears okay so the plan today support equals 433 to 434 zone 430 below that okay as long as defendant the 445 which is 200 day moving average is in play obviously we got nowhere near that but play it level by level okay so 433 to 434 zone will support when we lose that that puts the next support in play which is 430 if any news hit 427 last chance support before hard selling okay so for it was a zone which i updated in later updates 427 to 428 might have heard me talked about that zone in previous videos okay so that was last chance zone for the bulls to to make some type of comeback and show some type of demand there if not under 427 i think we get some hard selling meaning we'll go back to other previous support zones 417 to 420 if that doesn't hold i got some support at 413 and 410 we'll talk more about that when we get to the daily chart but let's look how did it go did it go as the plan so obviously this is a 15 minute chart candle started here it did not reach the 200 day moving average it actually ran into the 13 day moving average okay so we had some resistant here this line right here that is fibonacci level based on the daily chart on spy and we had a zone 437 to 437.5 resistance zone it actually went up to 437.17 got into the zone started pulling back this blue line was the multi-year trend line i talked to, i talked about this trend line with you guys yesterday it was our equilibrium if you guys remember all right bullish above it bearish below it as you can see went down up to the resistance that's how it opened also closed the gap very similar to the previous day Previous day, it gapped down, closed the gap, and it started going down. Today, did the same thing, closed the gap, which is our resistance zone. Came right down, bounced around and messed around a little bit on the trend line. Ultimately, lost it, as you can see. And uh, as always, like I always say, when is the best time for us to get bearish? When is the best time? If your answer was, when we lose a support then you're correct okay so we lost a critical support 434 was lost that multi-year trend line was lost that was our sign okay the false recapture recaptured yesterday but we lost it today went down all the way down to our next support level we had as i said in the um in the uh discord i had some support around the 433 to 434 zone that's the yellow line right at 433 came down to it chopped a little bit gave a weak bounce right up to 434 ultimately we lost it this candle this is where we lost it closed below this candle retest it as a resistant and it dropped all the way down to our next support zone all right we had a support at 430 as i wrote 
And if we lose 430, 427 to 428 zone, then we get it. So it bounced, gave us a weak bounce off the 430 support. Ultimately, we lost it. Right here, this candle right here came down to 427.93. So technically, this candle right here around 215 Eastern is where it bounced. It did go into our 427 to 428 zone, technically speaking. Gave us a weak bounce again up to 432. Hey, that was a nice scalp play. Nice scalp play from 427 to 428 zone. You know, you bought a call there in support. This is why we buy calls at support or go long at support. Because that's where we look for the bounce, right? Anyways, went as high as 432.4, uh, 432.29, excuse me. Did not hit our resistant level. Eventually went back down. Went as low as 427.10. Alright, so that one really went deep into our zone. Ultimately bounced at the end of the day. So 427 to 428 zone is a must hold level for the spy. Remember guys, if we lose that level... I am bearish on it. So pretty much, it was a bearish day during the day, obviously. Um, but you can see the smaller details on the smaller time frame. And you see how it played with our levels. Very cool stuff. So it, would you guys say that's a bearish engulfing candle on the daily chart? Look at that. Not looking good, huh? We had a recapture two days in a row. Recapture the blue trend line, multi-year trend line. We lost it today, guys. Treated it like a resistant level. Came right down to our 427 support. By the way, not only is that 427 support, um, not only is it based off, oh, well, around the, um, the falling wedge support level, which is pretty close to it, it's also a 23.6 retracement level based on Fibonacci. Now, if you're wondering where it starts, it starts at the January 4th high. And that low, that recent low we had on February 24th. Okay, so it bounced it, it bounced right off of our 23.6 retracement level. Right? That's a critical level for many reasons, okay? Below it, if we lose it, guys, I'm gonna turn bearish. We could drop as low as 420 to 418. Alright, guys. So let the price action guide you. Who cares if it goes up? Who cares if it goes down? we just here to make money. That's our main goal is to make money. Not compete with our fellow retail traders. Most of the time, the people on the other side of our trade are the market makers anyways. All right? So just play it level by level. The strategy is simple. I write it here in the ETF buy and sell levels where I post my support and resistance levels every morning. Enter at support to resistant if you are bullish. Short at resistant to support if you are bearish. Try to keep your trading simple, guys. If you're bullish and you want to bet to the upside, wait to a support level. If you're bearish, wait to a resistant level. That Be disciplined, okay? God, a, a, a strategy is so important. That's how casinos beat, beat us. The beat, they beat the gamblers. They, the casino, they have a strategy that they implement. The more a gambler gambles, the more likely they lose money because based on a strategy. Look it up. I can't go into details right now, but definitely look it up. But that's what I got for the SPY right now. 427 is a must-hold level. If we lose that, I'm turning bearish. I'm going to be favoring some more bigger lows, 420, and possibly down to 410. Possibly even lower down to... Well, we have a gap fill around 400, but possibly lower to 395. That's Right now, that's the support of my megaphone pattern. Okay, so I'm sure you bears would love that very much. Me, I'm a scalper, day trader, price action trader, doesn't matter. All right, if there's a shorting opportunity, I'm going to take it. And what's the shorting opportunity? When we lose a critical support level. If we lose this 427 critical support level, I am turning bearish, guys. Seriously. But if it continues to hold, I'd like to see SPY recapture some resistant levels. Okay. And treat them like support. Just like when we lose a support, we that's very bearish. When we break through a resistance, that's very bullish. Okay, so it, the SPY can continue to hold at 427, break back above 430, and obviously 435, that will be great. All right, the resistant level, obviously, the, the blue trend line right now is at 435.5. All right, if we want to recapture that level again, that's we got to break 435.5.
and then resistant of the trend line of the falling trend line which is resistant of the falling wedge is at 437.5 which also aligns with the 38.2 retracement level so when i see two levels you know connecting like that resistant of the falling wedge plus a fibonacci level 38.2 retracement that tells me that's going to attract more traders because some traders are trading based off this falling wedge some traders are trading based off this fibonacci i trade both screw it so that's that tells me if we get the breakout we could get a really big move to the upside okay so i would buy the breakout i would be bullish above 437.5 on the spy that would be a bullish breakout okay and i'll switch to bearish below 427 all right that is my plan for the spy remember no matter i'm right now the spy closed around 429 430 okay just remember wherever the spy opens tomorrow identify where your support and resistance levels are and you trade based on that okay no matter where the spy opens same strategy all right same strategy so discord members you guys know what the levels are i post them every morning make sure you guys check them and of course pick my brain if you guys need to all right this is the vix vix is looking bullish right now i told you guys yesterday we lost we, yesterday we lost the 38.2 retracement level around 30.28 I said for it to get bulls again we need to recapture that we obviously recaptured it and went and tested 33.5 33.56 resistance level that's a 23.6 retracement level try to get above it but we failed to stay above obviously you can see right there and it closed just below it okay so when it was above it in intraday you know VIX was pretty overextended to the upside because it was above the upper Bollinger Band. But right now, we managed to get it to close just a little below the upper Bollinger Band. All right, so for VIX to obviously get bearish, we need to lose the support. 30.28 support level needs to continue to hold to stay bullish. If we lose that support, obviously, turns bearish to the next support level of 27.63. So... If you're trading the SPY and you love to trade the SPY like me, it's good to keep an eye on the VIX. Okay? A bearish VIX is usually a bullish SPY and vice versa. Okay? That's what I got for SPY in the VIX. Triple Q. This is daily chart of Triple Q. It's chopping between the 13-day moving average and the 5-day moving average. Intraday, it went a little above it. Failed to close above. And it went a little below the 5-day moving average. Failed to stay below. So... Chopping price action for triple Q. Keep what keep playing it level to level, guys. 30 uh 340.7 is support. Below that is 337.83. That's a 78.6 retracement level. Alright. And below that, of course, if we lose support, that's bearish. We got some support here around 334, then 328. Just play it level by level. Now to get bullish, obviously we need to break that 13-day moving average. That's around 345.7. And we got this white trend line right here. Falling trend line start from January 4th high. Connects to the February 10th high. Can we get that third touch? Third touch, we triple Q would need to touch 349.3. Obviously, a break above that would be very bullish. That's the breakout. Can go test the Fibonacci level. That's the 23.6 retracement level around 351.69. That retracement level is based on the low of March 20 all the way to the high of November 2021 the blue one this is the other Fibonacci level that's based on the uh, the high of uh, November 2021 down to the low the recent low back on February 24th okay so I'm using it for different levels okay anyways so obviously a breakout above 349.3 is obviously bullish all right breakouts are bullish guys and we'll watch for a rejection there. We see rejections there. Or if we lose the support of the five-day moving average, you know, I'll see more downside incoming, guys. Keep it that simple. Dow Jones, once again, try to break out of it, break above this yellow falling trend line. It looks pretty steep. Obviously, obviously just met with selling pressure, lost the support of the five-day moving average. Not a good sign. Right now, bouncing off the 23.6 retracement level. If that is lost, 325.5 incoming. Okay? That's a nice move. Nice juicy move to the downside, guys. Just watch 
the price action. We lose support. You can either enter a put on the loss of the support or wait for a back test. Okay. And the same rule applies if for betting to the upside. Okay. IWM failing to break above the 38.2 retracement level once again. And j today it closed just above the five day moving average. So looking like it's starting to roll over. For this to change, we need IWM to close above 202.81. All right, above 202.81, obviously we'll put the next resistant level in play, which is at 207.48. Then the big one over here at 209.63, that's the 23.6 retracement level. Also a break above this white falling trend line that's been around since November, okay? November, then January 4th, a touch there. Can we get the third touch? That'll be a big breakout and end this correction phase that we've been going through, okay? Also double bottom potential as you can see here right there double bottom let's see how it plays out okay but that five day moving average needs to hold 199.2 below that 197 is a critical support level if we lose 197 bears are in control all right i will turn bearish if we if iwm loses 197 until then i will stay bullish and look for buying opportunity as close to support as possible and we'll see if IWM will turn bullish and go test that resistant level. All right. Tesla, not too bad today. Tesla, not too bad. Not too good neither, but not too bad. It could be worse. So as you can see here yesterday, we broke out of that green falling wedge. Today, it retested the green falling wedge as a support level. That was the low of the day. All right. That was around... 853 that was also around the orange line it washed a little below it but we saw some demands was able to close around 863 however we recaptured that blue trend line yesterday we did not hold it so spy seriously needs to get back above 868 869 above 869 to be safe to be bullish and put 889 back in play that was actually today's high almost hit 890 all right but below if it below 868 yeah, 868 below that, I'll be bearish, okay? 868.7, that's the blue trend line, multi-year trend line. That's resistant now, okay? If it, if it treats that level as a resistant, guys, that's a sign of more downside, okay? If it breaks above and then treat that level of support, that's a sign of more upside. Play the levels. Follow the price action. Follow the, the plan, all right? My, my advice, be price sensitive. That's right. Be price sensitive. If the market don't want to be at the price you want it to be, don't enter. They don't get your money. Give me what I want first, market makers. Enter as support, show that resistant. Speaking of resistant, look like Bitcoin is breaking through resistant, recapturing so far this white Trend line, multi-year trend line from October 2020 low to July 2021 low to the January 2022 low. We lost it, recaptured, lost it again today. We are trying to recapture once again. Now testing the 38.2 retracement level. If you bought off the 50% retracement level on 36.4K, good job. You bought that support. As you can see here, that's a breakout. Blue trend line right here. Start around November, got two touches here, February 10th, February 16th, today, I mean yesterday we got the breakout, today showing follow through and recapturing the white multi-year trend line. So, that's a good start, 43.6 is now critical support level. If we lose this white trend line again, not a good sign, Bitcoin needs to cooperate, the bulls need to hold that level. Possibly break through above 44.1K. That's a 38.2 retracement level. To put the next retracement level, 23.6 retracement level, 53.6K. That is the next resistant level, okay? If we can break above 44.1K. Right now, let's test it. Let's see what happens, guys. Good luck. I hope you found value in this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you all soon.